Hey y'all, Maker Melton here, and I just got something delivered that I have been waiting for for over a year now. FedEx delivered my Snapmaker 2.0 A350. I placed the pre-order back in July 2019, and here we are 15 months later, and it showed up on my doorstep. Never thought it would come here. This is my first 3D printer, not to mention laser engraver and CNC mill since this bad boy is modular, and I've got some dirty, dirty plans for this machine. So why not make a setup video? Ready? Go. Thank you. 
All right, so overall impression? Well, the Snapmaker 2.0 is beautifully packaged. I swear, some companies are just masters of the art of packaging, and while this isn't at the same level as packaging from my DJI products, it's just satisfying to see all the individually labeled boxes fit perfectly together while still protecting what's nested inside. It made unpacking it a pleasure. Now, as to quality, I'm not sure what to expect because I've never owned a 3D printer before, but coming from an amateur, I am impressed with how sturdy everything seems. Assembly went smoothly, but I also make sure I read and reread the instructions before I do something, and doing that solves majority of the problems that could potentially come up during assembly. Some common problems I've heard in the Snapmaker forums includes mounting some pieces upside down, uh, such as the heated bed mount, for example. So if you do buy a Snapmaker, just be careful to pay attention to the pictures and the instructions, and also read the forums. Those things are going to be your best friends in mistakes that other people have made, especially the costly mistakes. My biggest fear actually was that the screws would strip or not thread, or I, I'd set it all up and for some reason one of the tracks wouldn't work, but everything just went together really nicely and it all booted up perfectly. Like I had said before, this is my first 3D printer, so to check things out, I watched a lot of videos on what I should print first, and the calibration cube was top of most lists. So I hopped on Thingiverse, snagged a calibration cube by iDig 3D Printing, sliced it to Snapmaker Lubin, sent the file to the printer, and 20 minutes later I had a 20 millimeter calibration cube that was only three hundredths of a millimeter off. We're talking about 19.97 millimeters. Needless to say, I was super happy, so now it's time to print some cosplay. This is Maker Melton, and I'll be back later with an update after getting some use of the Snapmaker 2.0, and see you all again soon with the next video.